Right. Okay. All those people standing next to the microphones. Dr. Zakir Naik, he wants to talk for 15 minutes to refresh your minds about what he's just said, because of course we know as human beings, we're born in a state of weakness. So we've forgotten what he said before the Salah. That's what he's telling me. Tomorrow, if you want to come in here, Dr. Zakir Naik and the other speakers, hopefully Yusuf Estes will be back with us. He will be talking about Western women. Are they subjugated or are they liberated? Subjugated or liberated, Western women. That will be the topic in Croydon tomorrow. The good news is, if you want to come to Croydon, you pay five pounds with that ticket that you've got in your pocket. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah wa ala ali wa sahabi ajmain. Amma abad. Awuzu billahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Udu ila sabir rabbika bil hikmah. Wal mawadid al hasna wa jadun bilati hasan. Rabbi shuali sadri wa yisilli amri. Wahlul ugdata min lisani afka wa kawli. I welcome you once again with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. I had to end the talk because Maghrib Salah was there. And Salah is the most important. So we'd be failing in our duty if I had continued. As I was giving the talk on seeking knowledge, Islamic perspective, your children are an amana. Give them the best of education for both the worlds. One thing we have to realize that for success, we have to follow the guidance of the Quran and the Sayyid Hadith. And always, we have to be professional. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nahl, chapter 16, verse 43, and Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7, Fas'alu ahali zikri in kuntum la ta'lamun. If you don't know, ask the person who's knowledgeable. Ask the person who possesses the message. We as a policy in our organization, Islam Research Foundation, though we are a very small organization, it was started 15 years back. Alhamdulillah, we are only one employee. Now we have more than 300 employees, full-time paid employees. We always believe that we should be professional. And all the people that we employ, mashallah, we have a policy that whatever they're drawing in Bombay, if they join an organization, we give them more. We don't believe that if you're getting about 20,000 rupees, so come here for 50%, come here for 10,000 rupees for last thing. If you're getting 20,000 rupees, we'll give you 25,000. If you're getting 30, we'll give you 35. If you're giving 50, we'll give you 60. But then you work, you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't want the parents phoning me up, the doctors asking and I give an Islamic lecture and now my, now my son is earning half. If I give him more, even the parents are with me. Here we have to realize that similar we use even in our school, Islamic International School, that as far as the teachers, time did not permit him to speak about the teachers, we have got strict conditions even for the teachers. And initially, I'm a nightmare even for the parents. I'm a nightmare even for the teachers. We have so many rules and regulations. Someone called us the Al-Qaeda school. Qaeda means we have too many rules and regulations. And our teachers, mashallah, on average, on average, we interviewed about two and a half thousand teachers and selected less than 25. So less than 1% or 0.1%, sorry, the selection. Similarly, for our Qaris, the Qaris we selected, we interviewed in different parts of India, Lucknow, Nadwa, in various parts, Surat, our crew went. And there too, we interviewed about two and up to 3,000 Kurras. And now we have over 25 Qaris we have. So our selection procedure, it is very strict. Less than 1% of the people we interview we take them as our staff. And once we take the staff, the staff, we pay them more than what they get outside. <clears throat> we give an open ad in the newspapers that we will, if selected, we'll pay you more than what you're drawing. The ad says like that. If selected in our school, we will pay you more than what you're drawing. Irrespective of what you're earning, in any convent school, if you're teaching, 
we keep only Muslim teachers, mashallah. And here, the teachers, instead of coming for five days, they have to come six days a week. Five days to teach our children. Our school works from Monday to Thursday and on Saturday. We have Friday and Sunday holidays, which was very difficult. Everyone objected initially that how is this unconventional Friday and Sunday? Nowhere do we have in the world. I said we have it in IIS. And mashallah, in the long run, it was beneficial. Now the children are fresh to study twice a week on Saturday and Monday. Previously, they were in the normal school, they are fresh only on Monday. Here yeah, they are fresh twice a week on Saturday as well as Monday. And in our school, we have got no homework. Whatever is taught, is taught in the school. If there are some children who take late admissions, and if they have missed on the Arabic, they have to come on Sundays. Extras from 8 to 1 every Sunday to catch up absolutely free. And our teachers, they come five days to teach from Monday to Thursday and Saturday. And on Friday, they come to be taught. We educate our educators in our school. Our teachers, they get training once a week. They have the best of professionals coming to train them. These professionals, they are very well qualified in the field. They may be psychologists, they may be psychiatrists, they may be child counselors, they may be nutritionists, top people, Indian foreigners, they may be people, top non-Muslims. We pay them through the noses. We have workshops on Fridays and we train the teachers even in voice and accent. The voice and accent training we give, we spend lakhs of rupees so that they have a neutral accent. So, and in Bombay Channel, in a non-Muslim news channel it came, the only school which has voice and accent from junior classes, IIS. So the specialized non-Muslim trainers come and train our teachers. They in turn train the students. So our teachers also, mashallah, they have to work hard. We pay them, but they work hard. And we are very strict with our rules, mashallah. And we believe in professionalism. So what happened that by the time they stay in our school, they get trained. Same thing with Akari, same thing with Arabic gent teachers, same thing with lady teachers. And unless we are professional in our field, we will not get the results. And if we see the annual day that we had, the annual day, and we have shown that annual day even on satellite channel, moment we showed on the satellite channel, the annual day of our children performing, we got applications from different parts of the world that we too want to open a similar school. Now, just a few months back, we had another annual day, which the cassette hasn't been released. It is 10 times better than the first one. And Alhamdulillah, there if you analyze, it was for five hours. And only the children performed. No adult, no teacher even spoke a word. All the children from nursery to standard five, they performed. And no, even they, they themselves were the compare. They compared the program professionally. Mashallah, they were the compare. They handled everything. Not a single teacher even spoke a word. No one spoke. For five hours, without a break, the audience was glued to the seat. Glued. Five hours, imagine. Our children, from the age of three and a half to eleven and a half, they glued the audience for five hours, mashallah. And what we did, we did not spend a great deal of time. We hardly trained them for three to four weeks. That's it. And in the first week, it was two hours a day. Second week was three hours a day, then half a day. Last week was three-fourth a day. So they lost about two weeks of the school on average, nine working days. But we saw to it that we got professionals. We had professional choreographers. What are Islamic steps that we had taken? And when we had the show, we had a Dawa conference, an international Dawa conference, where our students, mashallah, as I mentioned earlier, that the Dawa conference was started by the recitation of Sheikh Sudesh. So one of the students dressed up as Sheikh Sudesh. Then we had Dr. Israel Ahmed giving a speech in Urdu. Then we had uh, uh, Bilal Phillips coming. Then other speak speakers, Brother Abdul Rahim Green. Then there was a person like Sheikh Ahmed Didad. Then my son dressed up like Dr. Zakir Naik. The point to be noted was that we had professional people to do makeup. 